Well, tonight, a crime of opportunity is victimizing more and more people in South Carolina. We're talking about car break-ins, and many are not locking their doors. Our South Carolina Bureau Chief, Shakira Speaks, shows us how it happened to one woman. After enjoying her son's basketball game at the Baxter YMCA in Fort Mill, a Waxhaw woman went home only to find out that her car had been broken into, and she didn't know until the thieves tried to spend almost $10,000. There was nothing really visibly wrong with it when we got in the car. Mary DeYoung says she'd locked her doors when she left her car, but it wasn't until her banks alerted her to some unusual transactions that she checked her belongings. Went out to my car, which I had unfortunately left my wallet in while we were in the basketball games, um, and they had taken all of the cards out of the wallet, put the wallet back. Turns out they used a screwdriver and jammed it into the keyhole on the driver's side. Now Rock Hill police are looking for this man and woman duo who they say spent over $7,000 at Best Buy, Target and Walmart. The FBI reports that $7.4 billion was lost to motor vehicle theft in 2020. $9,166 was the average amount of money stolen according to the Insurance Information Institute. DeYoung says it would have been more if the banks hadn't put holds on her account. It's a, just basically a crime of opportunity. So the more vehicles out, the more opportunity someone has to break in. Some of these criminals will wait and watch in the gym parking lots and see a lady put the, the bag and purse under the seat and they'll break in and take it and, and they'll leave and be gone by the time we get the report. That part's extremely scary. Um, and, you know, being somewhere where you, you think your stuff is safe and, um, you know, watching your kid play a basketball game isn't where you think something like that is going to happen. Um, but, but, yeah, it's, it's a little bit frightening. Police say that you should take out all things of value out of your car and make sure it's locked at all times. Police also say to put some kind of fraud protection on your debit and credit cards just to alert you in case this happens to you. For now, in Fort Mill, Shakira Speaks, Fox 46. Shakira, thank you for that.